Hey, what's going on? It's Ian Hart here at EarthFit Blog, and what I'm going to explain to you is a science behind how we decide what you should be lifting in your training. So, there's actually a science that's broken down into percentages when it comes to you lifting a specific weight, and it's actually correlated with your results, and that's how we can decide where your results come from. So your 20 rep max, and when I say rep max, that means at 20 reps, you cannot go beyond 20 reps. You, you max it out at 20 reps, you can't go past it. That's 50% of your ultimate strength, and your ultimate strength is based off of your 1 rep max here. Your 15 reps is about 0.625% of your 1 rep max. 10 reps is about 75% of your 1 rep max. Now, just for an example of results, we've had many people here who've had osteoporosis or osteopenia, and it's been reversed. Now, for osteoporosis to be reversed, you have to lift at 85% of your max. If, this is based on research and studies, lifting at 85% of your max. What happens is that puts enough stre stress on the bones to actually create small cracks along the bones. And then when the cracks are there, you go home, eat, sleep, and recover, it actually builds back on those bones, just similar to the way the muscle is broken down and then it rebuilds. Now, for somebody to, for us to, to determine 85% of the max, we can do that in our heads through training and kind of seeing where people lift. Now, for this is an example of, say, someone had a 10 rep max with their squats was 100 pounds. What we do is say, since that's 0.75 or 75%, we can say 100 pounds divided by 0.75, which gives roughly one rep max of 133 pounds. So from there, we know, okay, the one rep max is 133. Then we can multiply 133 by 0.85, and that gives us 113 pounds. That's 85%. So if this was you, we would say, okay, 85% is 113, that is your 85%, and that's approximately your 5 rep max. So, you have to do a 5 rep max to really get enough stress on your neuromuscular system to see improvement in osteoporosis. But that's not only the one thing, that's just an example, osteoporosis. That's also for results in your neuromuscular system, so your nervous system for hormones, um, also you just building lean muscle, this is a necessity for results. So this is Ian Hart just explaining science behind how we create programs and how we train for results in our training programs. And this also gives you an idea why heavy weights are necessary to getting you results. So again, this is Ian Hart with EarthFit Blog. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.